Hey riders, how's it going? What's up? Guess who's here? Oh my god. Guess who's here? Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> to that scene where um, she was, she made her first appearance. Stop it. Hi everyone, I'm Pamela. Um, I've been wanting to be in this vlog for so fucking long. It was actually one of her New Year's goals. Yes. Like, and no, not ball. even a lot. It was so funny because it was, I was there for like, what, three seconds? No, we were there for a while. Come on. And then... Not as much as today. And now, but now, we specifically booked this day out to do some stuff together. I can show you my calendar. I literally put it all day. I was like... <laughs> Vlogging with yeah, Ryan let, let's Flores. There you go. Vlog with Ryan Flores. Dad. Literally all day. So where, where are we, Pamela? We are at this beautiful restaurant in Kensington Market called San Cosme. You should come. If you really like, would you call it Mexican food? I wouldn't call it like just Mexican food. Yeah. It's like Latino food. Yeah. You should come to this place. I freaking love it. They know me. Um, they know <laughs> yeah, the girl was like, the girl over there, I was, yeah. I was doing like, I was telling her my, because I think she's training, yeah. and I was telling her my, my order, and she was like, yeah, I know what you're going to order, like, because I usually order to do this, yeah, yeah. and she was like, yeah, she comes here all the time, and I was like, yeah. Do you think it's off when you come to a place so often that they already know that you um, want to be that awkward? No, I love it. I love it because it's like, okay, I feel special that like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like during my 15 minute break, I usually go to get coffee. Yeah. They know my order yeah. and I'm like, woo. Yeah, me too. They know my like, They usually are like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel, I feel like, you know, like they care. We're out here. We're going to enjoy. So you're going to call this Mexican food or? Um, I would love to call it this Mexican food, to be honest. <laughs> but I don't want to be selfish. So I guess we'll call it Latino food. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna. We got a few things. We got a few things here, as you can see. I wanna open it nicely for you. Okay. Okay, so it comes wrapped in this. This is the picture. Yeah, wait. There you go. <laughs> okay, so um, what did you get? This is called a torta. So what it is is basically think of it as a panini. Yeah. Like if you think of the American or white version of it, it would be a panini. <laughs> and it's basically bread. Yeah. Oh my god. Ooh. That's true. I didn't get a knife. If you wanted to cut it, I didn't get a knife. You don't do knives out here? Yeah. So I'm gonna show you mine because okay. mine is basically Ooh. no meat in there, but you can actually add meat into it. But we have beans, avocado, diff three different cheeses, and um, tomato sauce. Whoa. Oh, so good. It and looks like, very good. There's so many. Ryan was actually, before, was trying to figure out which all of those. Yeah, because there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. Can I show you my favorite part of yes. this meal? It's this. This is this is literally one of my favorite things. In Mexico, whenever I go back and visit, yeah. this is one of the first things that I get. Yeah. And it's basically corn. Yeah. Uh, and in their own juice. So what they do is, how do you call that? Like the huge corn... I'm just making this and it's... <laughs> Uh, no, but the whole thing. The corn on the cob? The cob? Is that is it called a cob? I don't know. I, I guess so. I don't know. Like whatever you buy in the supermarket. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's, I'm not even gonna describe it because I was gonna describe it as like it's just. Gonna Let's sound, not so. describe corn on a cob. So what they do is that they peel it. Yeah. Like peel it as if they like their little grains. I'll show you like little grains right, of yeah, corn, the corn here. kernels. Exactly. There you go. And they put it in their own juice. Yeah. And then they put it in a cup. They put mayo. Yeah. They put cheese. Yeah. Lemon salt yeah. and a little. Chili. Ooh. So good. Ooh. I know it sounds a little bit disgusting, but it's so fucking good. But what, okay, so you're saying the corn in Mexico is different? Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you for bringing it up. Yes. Um, so the corn, somehow, I don't know why, yeah. the corn in Canada, it's so sweet. Yeah. Or corn doesn't taste like that. Yeah. Like, or corn is basically like not super salty, but like plain. Yeah. So like when you put flavors in it, it tastes right. way better. Yeah. So I don't know if this is corn yeah, that they like, use. Yeah. Like is this I, like Canadian corn? I have or is no this like... idea. Is it? 
<laughs> is it? I'm gonna sing, Ryan got Jamaica. So like Jamaica, like a literal oh, Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, okay, Jamaica. yeah, yeah. And it's like hibiscus, you could call it hibiscus. Right. It's so good. It is good, yes. And this is horchata. Which is? That's a great question, Ryan. <laughs> That's a great question. I actually, I think it's... Oh, I'm so gonna be wrong. Whoever, whichever Latinos are watching this, uh, please, please, no judgment sound. Yeah. No judgment sound. I think it's rice. Rice? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoever, okay, just put it in the comments below if you know what it is, because I have actually no idea. Okay. I've, I've always had it like my whole life. Yeah. I grew up with this. Yeah. But I never. But you knew never what knew. Because it, it usually comes in a bottle. Yeah. And you just put it in water. Yeah. And like you mix it. Yeah. Like Kool Aid. Like. Kind of yeah, yeah. Right. 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 But know. you don't know what it is. Exactly. <laughs> I think it's right. I'm pretty sure it's right. But do you think it? It does it taste right? <laughs> what do you mean you don't, I don't know? know? It tastes like cochata. Like <laughs> Has been my I have to reveal my sandwich. Mm. So obviously, uh, when I said we have to cut our sandwich, she gave me a base. So I guess we're not cutting our sandwich. Nope, we're not. So. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh my gosh. My. That actually looks beautiful. Right. So you get beans. Yeah. So our beans, actually, we don't, it's like a pate of beans. Yeah. So good. Onions, uh, avocado, tomato. tomato. I think that's cheese. Yeah. Vanilla. Also cheese. Vanilla cheese. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Should Are you excited? I Should I bite it? Yes. Okay. This is a good time. You look so Mexican right now. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited for you to try that. Yeah. This is um, Pamela's chocolate favorite. Oh. Yeah? Here's the thing, I really like salty stuff, so this is for me. This is for me. Yes! Yeah. I do think it might be Canadian corn though. Because I know this flavor, but I don't know. I can't be for sure, but. It's really hard to get like really like authentic. Oh, I feel this. Yeah. What's your verdict? I mean, I can't pronounce half the menu. Yeah. <laughs> and the food is good. The food is great. That's good. I've actually never knew what I've been into Kensington. I just don't go into the places. Yeah. Outside of your universities, but I. It's full of beautiful things. I love Kensington. It's literally the Latino. Yeah. It's so Latino. I don't know how it got so Latino, but yeah. I've lived in Toronto all my life. I, have, I don't think I have. Fully absorbed Kensington Market. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come to Kensington. Shout out to what's the place called again? San Cosme. What is it? Say it, say it. San Cosme. It's over there. Oh San Cosme. Wow, that's great. Great pronunciation. They close at eight. Shout out to you. They're great. They're great. <laughs> Do I have actually beans on mine? Mm, oh my god, always, I whenever, should... I eat, whenever I eat it, I always scare that I'm gonna get something. I'm just sucking the whole day with like that <laughs> stuck on my teeth. Like, I think a real, like a good friend would tell you. I, I, people would tell me all the time, all the time. You see, this is yeah. weird because you say a really good friend tell you, but I am that type of friend that if, it, <laughs> if I see it, I just let you be with it. Wow. The whole day. Wow. I do that with my roommate. I, wow. Why I think she would had like a little that? piece of, of something and I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna let her be with that all day. No. And we go home and I was like, oh, by the way, by the way you had a little piece of humming in your teeth. <laughs> Where are we gonna go now? We're going to eat more. <laughs> I love eating. Like eating, probably yeah. my hobby, my, my, my hobby. talent, my <laughs> skill, my everything. We're going to this beautiful place called Pancho's Bakery. Ooh. And you wonder why Pancho's? Well, that's a very typical name. It's actually a nickname for Francisco's. So whoever, whoever, whoever name is called, it's like it's Francisco. Yeah. You call him Pancho. What does Pancho mean? It's just like a nickname. You know when you call Robert. Bob? Yeah. The same. So oh. Francisco would be nicknamed Pancho. Pancho. That's so interesting. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to someone's house, Pancho's Bakery. So we will go to Pancho's, you know, like. You know what I mean? True. Okay. So where is it? Is that? Is it right that? there? It's a churro there. Oh. 
If you guys don't know, we're out here in Kensington Market. It's usually pretty lively on Sundays, which is great. I don't know, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Let me tell you more about Kensington Market. Okay, what, what about Kensington Market while we're here? It's so... Like, I don't want to say hipster because it is a bit hipster, <laughs> but I don't want to say like just hipster. It's just like yeah. it's so cute. There's so yeah. many like plants and like yeah. vegan and like yeah. all this other stuff. Yeah. Like there's a, literally like a lot of lo small restaurants and shops here. It's also very Latino. I fit perfectly here. <laughs> you fit perfectly. But yeah, look at that. I don't know what this place is actually. We just passed by. It looks nice. Yeah. So we're gonna go get some dessert, churros. This is the thing. With Bunches Bakery, they started doing this thing that it's it's still churros, but it's yeah. like very like their own type of white churros. So you can get the normal churros, which yeah. is like just the bread, like yeah. whatever. The dough. The, the dough, the, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you just fill them out. But they started doing these cones that it's a cone of churro and then you put ice cream on top of it. Oh! It's not Mexican. Yeah. Don't get confused. It's not Mexican. Like that way preparing it is not Mexican? That way preparing it is not Mexican. Okay. We don't do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but said that, they're still pretty good. They are good? So if you want to do it today, I mean, it sounds great. It has ice cream in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got our churros. Yes. We did. Uh, I honestly did not even know there were churros here. Again, it's one of those things about Kensington that you just discover. I'm telling you, this place is just full of Latino experiences. <laughs> so what do we have here? We have chocolate. Yeah. So this is this is actually very mixed, like very traditional. Yeah. Um, you actually do fill them up with different things. Yeah. Um, we usually don't do chocolate. It's the only thing that we don't do. Oh, that's interesting. The first thing that Ryan asked. For. But I love chocolate. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Uh, we actually do condensed milk. Yeah. We do this thing that it's called dulce de leche, which is kind of close to condensed milk, but yeah. I think it's the, con the dulce de leche is a little bit more thicker. Yeah. And uh, we do caramel. 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 Yeah. Typical. So chocolate is not a traditional. No, it's a no. It's a very white thing, but. <laughs> well, I mean, up to you, Ryan. <laughs> What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Your other idea. So your other idea was to <laughs> to go to. The, so where is this dance studio? Is it it's in your? It's actually my place. In your building? Yeah. yeah. You want to do it? Let's go. It's crazy that I never knew all of these places in Kensington. Crazy. And I lived here all my life. <laughs> I love it. It's crazy too that people that are not originally from here, like that I go out with, and they're like, "Yeah, you should check out this place." And I'm like, "I actually never knew about this place ever." Um, this is the thing. I think you get used to like your own space. Yeah. Like I have things in my like where I live. Yeah. I go to the same grocery store, same thing, same that, you know. Yeah. And I never get to explore around. So I think it's that. Like we just you just get to come. Because yeah. Daryl has been like to a lot of places, and he's oh. been here like what a year. Yeah. I've been here for five, and I've never like I haven't been to like half the places you have like. Yeah. Been. For sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. New goal for 2018. <laughs> The rest of the Explore day. your own city. Yeah. I should do that. So I guess we're just coming out of Kensington. Where are we going? Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to my place. Yeah, because <laughs> we're gonna film another, uh, I guess, vlog segment there, and this will be interesting because uh, out of my comfort zone. Let's just put it that way. I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> We are gonna pass U of T. Yes. And I love U of T. Never been to it. Would never want to study there. <laughs> Kudos oh. to whoever has done that. Like, oh, really? Oh, no For way. For two years. No, oh, and then, shit. Yeah, no. I couldn't. After two years, oh. I had to skirt skirt because I couldn't. Yeah, no. It's just. Uh. Maybe because it was the program that I was in that was very intense. Because mm -hmm. there's obviously programs in there that are like, you can get by, it's fine. But life sciences, okay, you're probably gonna get to know me a little bit more in this vlog. But I initially went to U of T to do a double major in neuroscience and cellular and molecular biology. Yeah! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what the fuck? Who are you? This is a funny thing. I think we all. Whoever is an artist yeah. has done some shit like that. Of course. Like, like I did, not. I did too. I went to Ryerson for completely yeah. different shit. Yeah. I was gonna go for a politician. Wait, like, I was gonna be a politician. Privacy, that's that's the cameras, right? Privacy. I went into the library 
They say, I asked them, why are there no cameras there no inside cameras? the building? What? what? I mean, there's a camera right here. Is it? Sending our naked bodies oh. around. <laughs> Anyway. And I've whoever else that I've met that's an artist yeah. or like you know they've all like they've done like some like weird shit before. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty common in like artists you you find when you talk to them like what did you do before this and yes. it's always some crazy thing that's completely, completely unrelated. Different. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I mean I mean I've, I've heard this a lot of times and I was in there like where you think like what you're passionate about and if it's art yeah. you're never gonna make money of it yeah. you're never gonna yeah. like succeed in it because it's one yeah. in a million so it kind of puts you down and you're like well better be something else yeah so yeah oh, well. but i did not know that that's crazy. you're getting to know me y'all yeah. are getting to know me yeah so i took i, I was in that, doing a double major for those two things at uft for two years after the second year I could I, I, at that point I was like I mean I got through another year but I just feel like this is not I'm not happy yet in this where I am yeah. I'm not and it's also during the second year of university that I also rediscovered which is funny to say I rediscovered my passion for music and I only picked up guitar in the second year I was in university and I, I actually started performing at open mics and stuff like that on campus and I was like this is what I want to do. Like, this is what I want to do. I want to write music. I want to perform. I want to do all this stuff. And it's. And then my parents were like, "How did you react to that?" Yeah, my parents were like, "How did your parents react to it?" Oh, because mm -hmm. I think everyone, everyone also has that story. Yeah. Well, so my parents were actually the ones that, and like, like I don't want to say I hate them for pressure right. me into doing it because if I look at where I am now, like if I didn't go through that experience, I probably wouldn't have known what I didn't want to do. That's the thing. So there's always something good to, or something to learn from an experience like that. But anyway, coming out of high school, my friends like, you should do this. You should do this. You should become a doctor. Yeah. You should do this. So at the time, I think it's also because I was coming out of high school and I'm like, I don't know what the hell to do. Graduate from high school, like you don't have to go to post secondary, but like they want me to. And like it, you're at the point where you're like, you want to make your parents feel. Like you want them to be happy, so you're yeah. kind of like, okay, let me just do this so they they feel good. And then in that experience, and it works for some people. Like obviously, people graduate from UT and it's fine. <laughs> they, some of them don't have jobs still, but <laughs> but for some other people, it's really where they discover what they don't want to do. And I, I was one of those people. So yeah, so that from life, life sciences to pursuing arts, in this case, music. I think that's where I got started. Started writing music, started collaborating, going to event, music events on campus, and then I just stopped. Like I, I, I don't want to, I don't like saying dropping out, but I just stopped. I didn't go back for a third year and a fourth year. I took a year yeah. off, and at that point, I was 22 years old. I have never had a job at that point. So I'm 22 and I've never worked a job. <laughs> wow. So got my first job because. I wasn't making any money. Yeah. Which is great. It was a job in retail. A lot of people start there. Yeah. They, the company that I work with, ended up going bankrupt and leaving the country. Oh. Great. <laughs> <laughs> after a year. Before I got my first job though, so after U of T yeah. was off for a year, I did go back to school, but I went to Seneca for music. And this is where I really, really discovered my passion for music. So that was an eight month program. I do remember you telling me that you went to Seneca. Yeah. And then after that, graduated. Then I recorded my first album. That was great, and that was also while I was at that retail job. So I saved enough to fly out to San Diego to work with this producer I've always wanted to work with. Release my first album. <laughs> She's like, "What?" I mean, I did know that you recorded music. I just didn't know you worked with like a producer. And yeah, a producer that I've always wanted. It's like me to saying, "Yeah," with. and then I went to LA, went to the Grammys, and then I came back, no, and that, I just came back to my. I mean, job. every artist wants that to happen to go to the Grammys, but. Hasn't happened yet. I would love for that to happen. But yeah, that's what happened. So I went to, saved up enough from my job to go to San Diego, work with this producer, came back, released the album, and then a year has passed. At that point, I have, after releasing that, I transitioned into working where we're at now. You would never know. And then I went back to school again for two years at the, the most recent school that I just graduated. And I guess that brings us to where we are now. In a park. Vlogging. Just kidding. At U of T. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah, funny that you're true. like, yeah, we're just gonna pass U of T. My roommate was also. So she she came to U of T for two years. Yeah. She also. Because it was, I think the environment that they put you in, it's not 
it very healthy. Yeah. Um, I also feel like it's huge and you don't get to like. Yeah. I don't have even a know. group of friends, you no, know what I mean? No, it's, it's huge. Like, like there's sub-colleges within the, within the campus. So yeah. I was at Trinity College, shout out to Trinity, but I don't think that mm. <laughs> You don't really get to know everybody on campus. And you don't really get to know, the, like your professors don't get to know you, you're just a number to them. Yeah. They also actually, I feel like, okay, these might be wrong. Whoever goes to UFD, I'm really sorry for this. <laughs> but I don't know if you like agree with this feeling, but like they're, they are one of the top universities in the world. Yeah. So they kind of have to keep that status of yeah. like the best universities in the world. And the percentage of people that they accept or they don't, or people who actually graduate or not, it's very low. Yeah. So that kind of actually makes them the hardest to get yeah. in on the hardest university, you know? Yeah. Which kind of gives you a status of like, oh, must be the best because yeah. not a lot of people graduate. Yeah. Which is stupid. Yeah. Um, it, it is stupid because like, it's like, yeah. you think it's the best, but not a lot of people graduate. Exactly. Like, how does that make it the best? <laughs> Comment so, below. <laughs> my roommate, she went in for psych. Yeah. But she didn't know that for psych, you actually don't get your major. Yeah. You have to apply for it after the first year. And the application is like, you have to keep like a certain GPA. Yeah. And plus, you need to like give like a, how do you call it, like a letter, like some write something to them. Right. Um, so it's very like based on that and keep in mind that there's thousands of people who are like in this like basic like bachelor for like yeah. arts or science yeah. who also won that major of psych yeah. and they only accept like a few people. Yes. So it's like even if you have like a great GPA and you have you did whatever you had to do, you still have a chance of not getting in. Yes. And it's like, well, it's what like the fuck would I go to university if I'm not yeah. gonna do what I want? Yeah. Like and she kept paying for an extra because she thought she could get in the next time. Yeah. Nope. She did not. So it's like it's just like it literally puts all your self-esteem about like or just how you feel about yourself in like the academic side of yeah. that. Like just Yeah. I agree with that. And I can speak to that because that's what happened to me, kind of. Like I went there, I thought I was I was convinced that it was one of the better schools in Toronto and then like I'm like, why do I not feel great to be here? I'm getting stressed. Yeah. It was very stressful to be here, but campus looks nice. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things. I actually like it. Campus looks nice. Like it looks walk very through. nice. You want to go through it? You can walk through it, but yeah, it looks very nice. But if you're a student here... I yeah. never thought about like actually coming here. <laughs> never. Yeah. Okay. Tell me how we've been talking about that for... Like this video been, is like 19 minutes UFD. long. <laughs> just UFD for like... So we're gonna, I'm going to cut it off now, but we're going to start recording again. <laughs> I am so sorry. Let's change our topic. Yeah, okay. You can see we're in the studio. Guess what we're gonna be doing today? And I'm actually very nervous. Hey, it's working! <laughs> hey, get it, get it. Get it. <laughs> see, I can hype you up, but I'm not gonna dance. One, two, three. 